Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video for C Sharp for Automation Testing Video Series. And in this video, I'll be talking about method grouping in C Sharp. So method grouping is an all new feature introduced in C Sharp 11, where we can create a method with same name with different parameters in it. And when referring to a method to its name without specifying its parameter, you are referring to a method group because you know already that we can create two different methods with same method name, but with different parameters. But while you call those methods, you actually need to supply the matching parameter to invoke a specific method of that parameter list. But if you don't specify any parameter for that method name, you are essentially referring to method group. And this is what is called as method group conversion, which is introduced in C Sharp 11. So the method group conversions are very, very handy while we use within delegates and refer a method group instead of the delegate complex code itself. Something like this, as you can see over here. As you can see in this particular method, the b equivalent to method, I am trying to verify type another user by excluding certain properties in it and wanted to verify how they actually works. And you can see that this is a function type of the equivalent acceptance parameter where it is going to accept many different properties in it and then it is trying to perform those operations over here. So instead of we do writing the code something like this, we can now try to move this delegate operation into a method something like this as you can see over here. So we can write two different methods as you can see it's called as the excluding certain properties which is going to accept for the user type and then excluding certain properties for the address type as a parameter as you can see there are two different parameters here. But you will notice that these methods are accessed within our calling code the b equivalent to method with just the method name itself instead of passing any parameters in there. And that is what we call as referencing a method name without the parameter. And this will make this particular operation as method grouping conversion. And that is what we are going to be doing in this particular video. And I will show you in a demonstration like how this can be achieved. So this is one of the awesome feature in C Sharp 11 as well. So in order to demonstrate this, I am going to create two record types over here. One is the user type, another one is the address type as you can see over here. And then I'm gonna write a method here and I'm gonna call this as public void assertions or whatever, which is gonna perform certain assertions for me. But in order to do that, I'm gonna go and install a package called as Fluent Assertions, which is one of the most famous package in our .NET world and I have a separate course in our Exit Automation YouTube channel related to the Fluent Assertion itself so you can go ahead and watch that. Well as that said we can use this Fluent Assertion to perform a lot of different assertions within our c -sharp coding. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate the user type with the data like user and then another user as you can see over here. So as you can see, the username, the John and the password are all pretty much exactly the same, but the age is entirely different from the another user and the phone number is different as well. And similarly, the daytime offset now is gonna generate different time based upon the time it is generating. So this time offset is also gonna be different for both of this. So that is also something that you need to be keeping in mind. And you'll also notice there is a daytime offset for the address as well. So this is how the data are being populated over here. So my quest here is I need to assert the user and the another user using fluent assertion. And now to do that, I'm going to do this user dot should, and then I'm going to use a b equivalent to method. And if I just use another user, and now if I try to run this particular code, this test is eventually going to fail because we know that there are data like mismatching data between both the user as well as another user. So for that reason, I actually wanted to write a hypothetical situation where I wanted to exclude the properties which I don't really wanted to verify. So in order to write that, I'm going to write a code something like this, as you can see. Basically, what I'm telling here is I'm going to be just writing the b equivalent to for another user where I'm going to be excluding the age, phone number, zip code, street, and if there is any property with daytime offset type, then just try to match the expectation with a time span of within one hour or something like that. So that is what this code is basically going to do. And once we have all these things done over here, if I try to run this particular code, this code is basically going to work. So I'm going to go to our program.cs file and I'm just going to say method group conversion, method group conversion 
and let me make this static and let me try to comment this particular code because we're not going to be running this code over here and if i try to run this code you will notice that there is no exception coming up for us so which means it is working fine but if i try to make any of the change let's say if i just make the user to from john to john's and if i try to run this particular code you will notice that there is going to be an exception over here and it is going to tell me that there is an change for the john with john so which means now we could able to verify all the different properties between the user and another users over here so this is the classical way of writing the code but now the quest is how do we use the method group conversion within this particular code and as you can see this particular code is kind of very very unreadable we could able to just move this to a method group conversion so that it can be written in a much much better fashion and the way i'm going to be doing it is i'm just going to cut this particular code and then i'm going to right click and there is an option called as refactor and refactor this extract the method and i'm going to call this as exclude certain properties and you will notice that this is how the method is going to look like and as you can see here all the excluding properties are being called over here and now it's also been written for us as a property something like this which is great but now we can even shorten this particular code by even removing this ex of the lambda expression like this and we can also remove this line of code so this is what we call it as the method group conversion so instead of you writing a method with the parameter as we saw over here we can now remove this completely by just having the method itself over here and not only that the beauty of the method group conversion comes in is when we wanted to have another verification for example as you can see over here we have address fused within this particular code itself and what if i really wanted to write two uh, methods which is going to have a address type as separately and the user type as separately so if i just try to do that over here as you can see i have excluding certain properties for the uh, user type and also for the address type so i have just did that over here for both of them and now you will notice that i could just try to duplicate this code and i can just say dot address and dot address something like this so you will notice that it's still holding the same method name but based on the type that you are trying to verify the change is going to happen so you can see that now if i just highlight this this method the address type method is being highlighted over here and if i choose the exclude certain properties of user then the user's specific parameter type method is being chosen over here so this is the beauty of the method group conversions and it also does a lot of performance improvement because earlier there was no caching involved for doing any delegate type method calling but right now there is a caching involved in the delegate method as well so every time you call this excludes certain properties method it is going to be cached for this particular call the next time you try to call it it's going to be using the cached method instead of you trying to call like a new object all the way that is the another performance improvement being done for the method group conversion so this is the new power of the method group conversions and this code is going to work pretty much as expected like how we really wanted to using just using these method names over here and even more shorthand fashion thank you